Hello, I'm Karen Larson. Time for the top stories from Two Works For You. The jury has now been selected for the trial of Matthew Hall. He's the accused getaway driver to David Ware, the man who's suspected of killing and shooting Tulsa Police Sergeant Craig Johnson and injuring officer Arash Zarkashan during a routine traffic stop. Hall is charged with accessory to murder. Opening arguments expected to begin Wednesday morning around 10. Police say a security guard at Cityplex Towers near 81st and South Lewis shot a man this morning after he refused to leave the property. Police say the man may have been sniffing something or possibly huffing paint. They say that Philip Roberts charged at the guard after being asked to leave multiple times, leading to Roberts being shot in the thigh. Police say that Roberts drove away and was later located in the underground parking lot of the River Spirit Casino. He was taken to the hospital and is in stable condition. No arrests have been made at this point. The investigation is still ongoing. Now here's a look at Oklahoma's latest COVID data. State health officials report 111 new cases. There are also 56 more deaths, including 13 in Tulsa County. Charts from the COVID tracking project give us a better look at the big picture. You can see new cases and current hospitalizations both trending downward over the past month. Now, if you're due for your annual mammogram and plan on getting the COVID-19 vaccine, doctors say timing of one could affect when you get the other. Doctors say it's normal for lymph nodes in the armpit area to swell after a vaccine. And this could be mistaken as a sign of cancer when they show up on a mammogram. So doctors suggest that women schedule their mammogram before or at least six weeks after being vaccinated. Now to our 10 day forecast. It's looking like spring in Oklahoma 70s over the next several days, dropping into the 50s on Friday, 64 degrees for Saturday, warming to 67 on Sunday, staying in the mid to upper 60s and even 70 until next Wednesday when we have another chance of possible thunderstorms, spring storms. We'll be talking more about that. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines.